always asking me like, what's it like to work with your wife, and isn't isn't it you know hard working with your wife? And I think that what people don't understand is that you know I don't trust anybody more than Karen. I couldn't imagine doing it without her. I actually met Quinn when I was 21 at uh, my first, more or less, my first restaurant job at Spaga. He loved me. I hated him. I wooed her with the cooking, I think. Kind of, actually. Right. Actually, I do like very, uh, I like manly men. And he could reach into the wood burning oven basically with his bare hands, and I was like, this guy for me. <laughs> you kind of get to know each other in the hall, like a lot better than maybe than you would have. We love cooking at home, and it's totally different than cooking at a restaurant. In the restaurant, Karen runs the pastry department, but she's also on the floor in the dining room. Karen runs the restaurant. <laughs> Quinn runs the kitchen. He's the chef. That's true. At home, Karen runs the home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the grill, which is outside by the skateboard. That's Sorry, the no. biggest thing to get over as a home cook is that you have to you have to you have to mess things up. That's the only way you learn. That's yeah. easy to say when you're like one of the best pastry chefs. You have in the to country. learn some of the basics <laughs> and the fundamentals and the technique, and then you have to be able to put the pieces together yourself. I think you can fight a lot cooking at home together, especially if you don't have a big enough kitchen. You know, yeah. fighting over right? space, who's <laughs> doing why, you have people coming over. And I don't think we argue at all anymore. But no, we have we're people good. Coming over. Where, where's the rosemary guy? It's gonna happen, don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> I feel like we need some herbs. Okay, so. I feel like it's usually parsley or. Uh, this is some. It's not finished. Okay. Normally, I would take my brown butter one click further because I almost like my butter black. I like it really, really, really That's nutty. That's black butter. Yep. I like that. It's butter. not brown butter. I don't care. And Quinn likes his very light nutty. I was just taught not to burn things. <laughs> well, you, you play it safe. How do we make it work? We are best friends. Yeah. We enjoy spending time with each other. We still, like, we're with each other a lot. And then we work together. And then I get home, like, 40 minutes before him. And then he gets home and he's like, come talk to me. And really? <laughs> I would say we're less competitive with each other and we more sort of ins ins sort of feed off each other and inspire each other. Plus, people are always going to think our stuff is better because it's chocolate. That's true. I have an <laughs> But I think that us just having such parallel goals and dreams and objectives and everything we want to do, you know, I mean, it's always, we've just always sort of been on the same page. Um, and we have, even though we're very different in some ways, we're very similar in some ways also. It was always the running joke with our friends that we shared a brain, which is probably a similar joke. Yeah, too bad we don't share two brains. Exactly. <laughs> a vacation for us will be like a 36 hour trip to a city like San Francisco where maybe we'll eat at like six or eight different restaurants. When Karen and I went to a little town called Cap Antibes and we went to a, fam a famous three star Michelin Bouillabaisse restaurant called Bacon and she re refused to wear the bib. <laughs> There's a room full of people with bibs on and she Everybody refused. You're supposed to wear the bib. She didn't wear it. Were they cool with her not wearing it? What are they gonna do? <laughs> we're definitely soulful cooks, and um, you know, I think we're just inspired by what's in the moment, and that translates to the plate. I think cooking is a fun way to tell a story, and the more you get into, you know, some of the aspects maybe leading up to the dish, where your quails are from, where your wines from, how it pairs together, is a really exciting part of the whole experience especially when you're entertaining. You nailed it. This is, this, I'm pretty set back by how good this was. Well, you're amazing. It was good. You inspire me. Oh, yeah? Yes. Maybe I'll do the quail, now that you've taught me, for our next dinner party. And I can play with the kids. And you, no, you can make the cake. Oh, I gotta make the cake? You said you could make the cake. I should have paid more attention, I think, when you were making the cake. But you wonder where your mouth is. Come on. All right, so. To well the, done. To the next one. <laughs>